Hello everyone. A few days ago, I released a Premiere Pro preset pack that called the Ultimate Preset Pack for Creators. Today, I'm going to show you how to apply these presets and how to download this pack. Before we begin, let's import the presets into Premiere Pro. Go to the Effects panel, click on the three lines, and choose Import Presets. Then, open the preset file you downloaded. Now, let's see how these presets work and how to use them. First, let's explore the Animation for Objects or PNGS preset. Before adding the presets, I added my PNG file to the timeline and adjusted its size and position as needed. Then, you must nest the layer. Once done, simply drag and drop the presets onto the nested layer. There are many presets in this folder, so you can try them out one by one to see which works best. Next, we'll move on to the Intro Shakes preset. You can apply these to an adjustment layer or directly to your video layer. These presets provide various intro shake effects for your videos. Just like before, drag and drop the presets and experiment with them one by one. Now, let's look at the Shakes preset. In this category, we have Rotation Shake, Standard Shake, and Wobble Shake. Each effect comes in five different sizes, which determine the zoom level of your video. Drag and drop these presets onto an adjustment layer or directly onto your video layer. Next, we have the Cinematic presets. These can be dragged and dropped onto your video layer. There are four presets. Cinema Fade In for the beginning of your video. Cinema Fade Out for the end, and Cinema Zoom In and Cinema Zoom Out for smooth animations. Moving on to the Color Correction and Enhance Pack, this pack includes two presets. The first is Cinematic Desaturate, which reduces the color intensity in your video, giving it a muted or washed out appearance. The second is HD Enhance, which can improve the quality of low resolution videos. Simply drag and drop these presets onto your video layer or adjustment layer. Now, let's explore the Color Preset Pack. This pack contains 70 different cinematic color presets. You can apply them to an adjustment layer or your video layer. Additionally, you can tweak the adjustments in the Effect Controls panel. Each preset includes a preview so you can see how it looks before applying it. Next, we can move to the Quick Edits Pack. Here, we have 15 presets that are commonly used. Just drag and drop them onto your footage and see how they look. The first two presets are 3D effects, which can be added to the video layer to create a 3D view. The next one is 80s black borders. Following that is the black and white preset. Then, we have three blur effect presets, providing light, medium, and strong blur effects for your footage. The next one is Camera Shake, which can be applied to an adjustment layer over your footage to create a natural, engaging camera shake effect. Next, we have the Cinematic Black Bars preset. After that, there are two Shadow Effect presets. These can be added to a PNG, object, or text. The first shadow effect creates a normal shadow, while the second one gives a softer shadow effect. The Green Screen Remover preset is next. Simply drag and drop this preset onto a basic green screen video, and it will automatically remove the green screen. Then, we have the Lighting preset, which creates a lighting effect in a specific area of your video. You can adjust the lighting area in the Effect Controls panel. The Mosaic Blur preset is next, and it applies a mosaic blur effect to your video. Finally, we have the Transform preset. This is a standard transform effect, but it comes with motion blur automatically enabled. In the Quick Edits Pack Audio, you'll find 10 presets designed for audio editing. These include Noise Reduction, Smooth Voice, and Reverb, among others. Drag and drop them onto your audio layers and fine-tune them in the Effect Controls panel. Now, let's move on to the Text Presets. There are 26 unique text styles. Simply drag and drop them onto your text layer to apply the desired effect. Finally, we have the Transition Pack, which contains 35 transitions. To use these, create an adjustment layer and place it above the two clips you want to transition between. The transition speed depends on the length of the adjustment layer. Drag and drop one of the transition preset onto the adjustment layer. 
Then go to Effect Controls and position the playhead at the center keyframe. Now select Adjustment Layer and press them to mark this spot. Align it with the cut like this, and now you have a perfect transition between clips. Do this same steps to apply other transitions too. Now that we've learned how to apply all the presets, let's see how to download them. Visit the link in the video description to access the preset pack. In the Fair Price section, type 20 and click on Add to Cart. Then, click Add Discount Code, enter the code provided, and apply it. You can download this 200 plus preset pack for just $2. This special offer is valid until December 31st, so don't miss out. Download now! If you have any questions, comment below, and I will reply as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next video.